everyone, this is part 2 of the basics of Mission Editor for Arma 2. If you haven't seen the first part, click the link below and watch that part first. Now I'll try to explain what triggers, waypoints and other things are and how you can use them. So first of all, make a player's unit. Without a unit to control, you cannot really preview the mission. Now switch to triggers, either click here or press F3 and create a trigger, close to the player. A trigger is an invisible thing that waits throughout the mission for something to happen. When that happens, the trigger activates itself and runs all commands that you write inside. Now you have the size of the trigger, the angle and its shape. It's useful when you want to define an area into which you need to enter to activate the trigger. Activation. Here you can choose who will activate the trigger. We are currently making a very basic example, so we will be waiting for a player to enter a certain area. So over here you can choose what side to wait for. Choose the player's side. Next to this you can choose if it triggers only once in a mission or every time when the, when the conditions are met. Over here you can choose the type of condition. We want to have the player's side present. So once a member of player's side is present in the area of a trigger, it will start working. You can also create other types of triggers. As you can see here, you can wait for the unit to leave or to be spotted. Here you can set the timer. Once the conditions are all true, in this case, once the player enters the area, the trigger can wait for a certain time. Minimal time, average time and maximal time. The countdown waits for a certain period of time and then activates the trigger. The timeout activates the trigger after the conditions are true for this period of time. So if you enter the area and leave very quickly, the timeout doesn't activate the trigger, while the countdown does. Ok, here you can choose if you want to end the mission and 1 to 6. And I will let the other types for some future video, because I want to explain other things in this one. Below that a name for commands, some text for you to remember what the trigger does, and you can leave it as it is. Into the condition box you can write what has to be done before the trigger gets activated. This indicates that the trigger will wait for the moment when the conditions from above are true. Into the on activation box you can write what happens after the trigger is activated. The same rule applies to the on deactivation box. Now I still want to avoid commands so click on effects. Over here you can choose from several sounds, you can play music and you can let the game to display some text, so we will do that. Click on this box and choose text. Now write some short message over here. Ok, so once the player enters the area of this trigger, a text will appear on the screen. If you want, add some sound or music. Ok, enter. Now switch to waypoints, F4. A waypoint tells a soldier where to go. Of course, player only gets a little yellow mark on his screen and the AI unit is forced to move. So you can use waypoints to make others move while the player remains on one position, so you can create some defend the base kind of mission. Ok, click the player only once to select him. Now double click on empty space, here you can choose the type. The most important ones are, move a basic movement, search and destroy, the unit comes into a certain area and then secures it, get in, makes the soldier enter some vehicle and get out for leaving the vehicle. You can pretty much guess what the others do, it's quite simple actually. Below that you can see how the waypoints are ordered for this specific unit, a name below that, over here is the combat mode, formation, speed, behavior. I think I don't have to explain anything, waypoints are quite easy to understand. Placement radius is the radius of a circle within which the waypoint is randomly created. And the completion radius is the radius of a circle within which you need to be to actually be in the right place. For example, if you travel by a helicopter, you aren't as precise as on foot. 
so you can set the radius to a higher value so that you can fly just in the right direction and don't have to fly exactly as the waypoints tell you. Another timeout, same as the trigger, and once again, condition, on activation and script. Leave them like that, I'll get to it when I'll be explaining commands, right now you don't have to use it. Over here you can choose if the waypoint will be shown on your map or not. You can also choose some nice effects, the process is the same as creating trigger effects. Ok, so right now I will move the trigger further away from the player, you can move everything you've created with left mouse button and I will place it over here so that the player has to run to get to this area which is this circle. And I will move the waypoint as well. So once I start the mission I will see a waypoint on my screen telling me where to go. Once I get there the message I wrote earlier will be shown on my screen, so let's see. If you can't see the waypoint on your screen, save your mission, exit the mission editor, launch any single player mission and then get back to the mission editor. I honestly don't know why you need to do that, but it helps. Anyway, I can see my waypoint over here, let's go near it, and there we go, the text works as well. Before I end this video I want to mention the remaining things in the editor. Synchronization is a tool to connect triggers, waypoints and units and honestly it is quite rare to use it. I mean not rare, but you won't need it as much as units or waypoints. Markers serve for players. You can choose how the marker will look like and where it will be. You can also use markers to mark some certain position like when making respawn. I will explain respawns some other time as they are quite complicated. And the last category, modules. Now I don't really know and use modules so much, apologies people, but I just don't like them. Anyway, you can use models to create something, something advanced. Basically, you call a certain script from inside the game that does the hard work for you. Each module has a specific job and parameters. I will tell you about them some other time. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Try several different triggers and waypoints. Watch the first video as well. Like, subscribe and in the next tutorial I will show you several simple missions using only what I have said in these two first videos. So you will be able to make a small mission for you and your friends. Thanks a lot for watching.